What is the toughest environment to find your way using nature? The answer I give is always the same. It's, it's any wooded environment uh, with an overcast sky. My name's Tristan Gooley. I'm the author of How to Read Water, Clues and Patterns from Puddles to the Sea. I get asked a lot, what is the toughest environment to find your way using nature? And people expect me to say uh, desert, sandy ones or icy ones, but actually the answer I give is always the same. It's, it's any wooded environment uh, with an overcast sky. If the sun, moon or stars are out, it's pretty straightforward. Um, if you're in open country, there are clues all around you, but once you get into dense woodland and it's cloudy above, you have to use a whole new set of techniques. Uh, we're relying on um, storm damage uh, because light winds don't make it into the heart of dense woodland. So what we need to do is look for trees that have been blown down by a storm and we will find a trend there. Then the detective work begins because we've got to work out which way these trees have come down. Uh, we might be lucky and catch a glimpse of the sun and that helps us work out perhaps all the trees have been blown down from southwest to northeast. But also trees that have fallen down hundreds of years ago and rotted can still help us. If you've been walking in the woods and you suddenly notice it gets all bumpy, there are sort of mounds and then dips, that's a sign there was a storm hundreds of years ago. And again, if we can work out the trend, all you have to do is stand on the mound, stand on the high bit, face towards the dip, that's where the roots have been pulled out, uh, and you're facing in the direction that that storm's winds came from. So once you work that out, using any of the, the hundreds of natural navigation techniques, all of those bumps in a woodland will help you.